Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, and welcome to my unnamed Denis Villeneuve series. With the remake of Dune coming out October 22nd, I wanted to review as many Denis Villeneuve movies as I possibly could, and, I've, and I'm going to be covering from his first movie, which really announced him to the world, to Blade Runner 2049 and everything in between. I'm not going to be calling this series Villeneuve Month, because the last time I called something a month, it was Nolan Month, and it turned out to be Nolan three and a half months. Stupid virus. So for the sake of not wanting to emit bad vibes into the world, I'm just going to say this is my Denis Villeneuve series. So let's kick things off by talking about Polytechnic. This was released in 2009, it was directed by Denis Villeneuve, and this is based on the on the, a truly horrible incident. In 1989, a lone gunman shot up the Montreal Polytechnic University, killing 14 women. And and this movie documents the entire incident from beginning to end. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but when it comes to movies like this, especially involving mass shootings, I really don't know how to approach it because I know it's a work of fiction. However, this is based on a real tragedy that actually happened. So I don't know if my review is going to is going to be something that says, "Hey, this covered it well," or "This covered it not so well." Because to be completely honest, I had no idea this was even a thing until I started preparing for this video series. So if I forget something or if I say, oh, this was really good and it turns out it wasn't, I just want to, I don't want to apologize in advance, but I just want to say this is coming from someone who has no prior knowledge of this incident. When preparing for this review, I did my research into how it came about and some of the filmmaking and etc. And I also take a look at other reviews, including like print reviews and reviews online and something things on Letterboxd. And there were some reviews on Letterboxd that said something to the tune of this movie should have never been made because it is a movie about a mass shooting. And to a certain extent I can understand why and I can understand where these reviewers are coming from. However, having seen this movie, I think I can safely say that it's a necessary movie. Don't get me wrong, this is a very dark movie. It's it, it's 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 a very dark movie. However, when it comes to a topic like this, I'm glad it exists. As far as the filmmaking goes, this movie was shot entirely in black and white, and it's kind of filmed like a documentary with no talking heads. And that's kind of the reason why I have to take some of those letterboxed reviews with a grain of salt. Because this movie would be a totally different ball of wax if it was presented as like an action movie or trying to glorify one side or the other. I don't think this movie does any of that. It presents the incident kind of as is. There are some story elements, and I'll talk about those in a second, but it kind of presents this incident in kind of a matter-of-fact way and say, here's what happened, it's terrible. And... I think for some that will be disappointing, but I think for a sensitive subject like this, I think Villeneuve handled it about as good a way as you could. And like I said, this movie does have some story elements. It specifically follows the killer himself, these two girls named Valerie and Stephanie, and this man named Jean-Francois. The first 20 minutes of the movie follows the killer and basically we listen to his entire manifesto, and I can safely say that this was a very disturbed individual who clearly had really nothing going for him, and instead of, I guess, trying to improve upon himself or seeking guidance in some form or fashion, he just blamed it all on women. Yeah, this is the type of scum we're dealing with. Hearing this manifesto just made me really mad because it just it just really did and he 
called upon certain historical figures like Caesar and talked about how men ruled the world and now they're it's being taken away from us. It's just like, like, uh, just, just. On the other side of the coin, when it comes to Valerie and Stephanie, Villeneuve does a great job of not just making them victims. You actually know who they are. And there is a through line throughout where Valerie, after she applies for the scholarship and gets it, it's a conversation of, oh, you're going to be working hard for the rest of your life. Do you want a family or something like that? And she's like, I'm not so sure I want that. It, I, it was honestly very intriguing. For a movie that is only an hour and 17 minutes long, Villeneuve did a great job of taking several story arcs and putting it into a very small package. There are certain things in the plot that I don't want to spoil because I do recommend you all check this movie out, as disturbing as it is. However, let's just say that Jean-Francois is an incredibly tragic character, and the actor who played him, let me pronounce his name correctly, Sebastian Huberdo, boy I suck with names, did a really, really good job with it. And how uh, what happens to Jean Francois is really really tragic again no spoilers and like i said this movie does involve a mass shooting and there and a good chunk of the movie is well we're basically in ground zero as this whole thing is happening and it's not fun it really is not i do recommend that you all check this movie out however Go into this knowing what you're going to be watching. Don't go into this as light viewing. Be like, oh, I've got an hour to kill. This movie Polytechnic, I wonder what that's all about. Because you're just going to... You're just going to have your mind blown. So be prepared for what you are about to experience. Again, no spoilers, but my favorite character in the movie was Valerie. I loved her character arc and especially how she ends up. Again, no spoilers, but let's just say that as far as filmmaking goes, Denis Villeneuve pretty much nailed how he he would nail all of his movie's endings from the very beginning. After all of this incredibly dark stuff has happened, there's a small kernel of hope. It's not huge, but it's enough to keep you going. And there's more than a kernel of hope at the end of this. And at the end of the day, I'm not sure <laughs> if I'm doing this movie justice, and I'm not even sure if I'm recommending it, per se. All that I am saying is that if you do feel compelled to watch this, I do recommend it. Be weary of what this material is about. This is about a mass shooting. It will be very uncomfortable. It will be a very tough watch. However... I do highly recommend that you check this out, as dark as it is. Oh boy, that was, um... Oh, wow. So, uh, if you have seen Polytechnic, what are your thoughts on it? Leave it in the comments, I'd love to hear what you all have to say about it. Next up in the Villeneuve series, I'm going to be covering the movie that really did land Villeneuve in the, in the spotlight and would just hit have his career just completely take off. It's from 2010, and it is called Incendies. But if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to allow notifications. That way, when a new video drops, you'll be the first to know about it. My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.